This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. We meet again. I'm Hani Madhu and you are watching RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. In this episode, we will take you to Johor Darutak Zim or Plaza Pelangi in Johor to be exact. And we are here to see our friends battle it out in science, math and general knowledge. Johor is a state famous for its unique cuisines such as the Briani Gum and Laksa Johor. And it's also famous for its wonderful art, the unique Zapin dance and also Gazal music, ah, the mesmerizing tunes. It is so beautiful and so enchanting. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's go and see what our friends are up to right now over at the Plaza Plangi. Today, we will see students from all over Joho representing their schools in the lower secondary F123 category and the upper secondary F4, F5 category. How has your team prepared for today's competition? Actually, you know, I have much preparation. Wow, really? Yeah. You are so relaxed. How is your level of general knowledge like? Is it good or is it alright? Average. Average. What if today all the questions are mostly general knowledge? My only answer half. Well, I wish you all the best, Zachary, and thank good you. luck to your team. Yeah, thank you. Joho is all ready and set. Go, Joho! Yes! Herbie was carrying out an experiment using a mixture of vinegar and baking soda to simulate an eruption of a volcano. He was unable to produce enough froth to simulate the oozing of lava. What item can be added to the mixture to produce more froth? And the correct answer is dishwashing liquid. 23 of you getting it right. In the movie, Ali Baba Bujang Lapo, acted and directed by the late Tan Sri P. Ramli, Ali Baba uttered the magical rhyme to open the cave. Which of the following is that rhyme? Right, the answer for this one is... Naing Song Matakaji Simar Seng. Okay, and 40 of you getting it right. So far, the highest scoring question. Huh? Mr. Sam Muniandi purchased a Porsche and went into an agreement for higher purchase with a local bank. In the higher purchase financing above, the owner of the car is... The answer... Owned by the local bank. Huh? 30 of you getting it right. Find the sum of numbers from 51 to 100 inclusive that are not divisible by two. And the answer should be close to 1900. Closest to 1900 is 1875. 28 of you getting right. Here's the top 10 list of teams in both categories that made it to the next round. How long did it take for you to prepare with your teammates? About two or three weeks because we actually there's been an examination so we have much time to prepare for this so yeah that's it tell me about your teammates do you know them as friends yes we are only from four uh, we are very tight we are very close so yeah uh, we have a good chemistry for the f123 category the teams have to construct a one-way four level highway that links to each other through an interchange route system at ground level and with one exit route from anyone with traffic lights at junctions of interchange Wow! Judges will then give points and the teams proceed to their oral presentation. The bottom level has uh, thinner pillars than the ones that have a uh, higher level. The high levels have uh, thicker pillars because they need a bigger base area to support their lower center of gravity. For the F4 
a5 category the teams have to construct an indicator system for a fishing rod that is able to alert fishermen when a fish takes the bait and pulls at the hook now that's interesting the judges will give points and proceed to the listening of the oral presentation We have used the principle, the principle of the third class lever in building this fishing rod. Why is this fishing rod very long? This is to increase the distance between the fulcrum and the effort when the farmer fishes. Thus, also increasing the force at which he pulls the fish in. Correct the mistake in the diagram which shows the arrangement of apparatus to dry hydrogen gas using concentrated sulfuric acid. What's wrong in this diagram? Study it and give me the answer. Team C, you want to try? What's your answer? Tube A should be long enough to go into the concentrated sulfuric acid. We have a correct answer. Congratulations, Team C, two points. All the factors of Y are 23, 2, 92, 1, 46, and 4. What is the value of Y? Team C, your answer? 92. We have a correct answer. 92 is the answer, sir. Well done. To read Braille, a blind person uses his fingertips to identify letters of alphabets and not other body parts. Why? Team D, first to buzz in. The What's fingertip your answer? consists of more touch receptors. Congratulations, we have a correct answer, Team D. Eh? Fingertips have more receptors. Correct the mistake in the following statement. Malaysia is divided into East and West Malaysia. She consists of 13 states and two federal territories. Team C, what's your answer? Uh, two federal territories. There should be three federal territories, not two. Accurate indeed. Give him a round of applause. The three are Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya and Labuan. The results of RHB The Star Mighty Minds 2011 State Challenge. Third place going to SMK Mohamed Khalid, Team 2. We are now going to announce the champion. Champion, RHB The Star, Mighty Minds National Challenge, Lower Secondary, going to Maktab Sultan Abu Bakar, Team 1. The champions indeed. Second place going to SMK Taman University 2. The only lady among the 15 qualifiers in the team as well. Third place SM Science Johor Team 1. We are now going to announce champions. RHB the star Mighty Minds National Challenge Johor. Doing a double for the school. Going to Maktab Sultan Abu Bakar. Team 2! They were in second place after round 1 but they worked their way up to first place. Huh? The runners up going to SMK Dato Jaffa Team 2. Well done boys! Congratulations champions! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, clap for yourselves. Do you struggle at all throughout the competition? Well, uh, yeah, actually doing the MCQ questions, right? The first three questions got wrong, you know, so we were like so demoralized. Uh, after that, the fourth question and onwards we got picked up pace. Uh, maybe we settled down, then we slowly got our confidence back. You know. So after three failed attempts at, at answering the question, yes. you guys smooth yeah. sailed all the way. Yeah, we were practically just having fun the entire way. Wow, no, no struggling at all. <laughs> Okay, how do you prepare your uh, sharply dressed students today? Yeah, just give them some uh, MCQ question. Just, just that lah. Okay, uh, how, how are you guys picked again? Are you guys picked by grades? Um, yeah, actually. But um, uh, it, no, actually, we were the first year we were picked by yes. grades. And then the second year we were, we were picked because we had the experience uh -huh. for the first year. And then now we are like the, like elite, the, elite, the yeah. elite Mighty Minds team of our school. So Earlier on, I only spoke to Zachary, but right now I have the entire team because they are the champions for the lower secondary boys! Yes. Yes. yes! Okay, I want to speak to you first, okay? Right. Did you struggle at all throughout the competition? Well, to, to talk the truth, these are the brains. These are the brains who help me, I only... 
I'm a part of them. Okay. So I also give uh, one of my ideas. <laughs> okay, brains. Yeah, what was it like? It was tough, pretty tough. But our teamwork was there, lah. So that's how we managed to win. So who's the troublemaker out of these three? I'm guessing him. No. We no. All good together. Oh, well behaved boys. Yes. And I'm gonna be seeing you in my hometown, KL, real soon. See you guys in the Valleys. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. yes. Oh, you live there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> My oh my, they must be so overjoyed. Congratulations guys, truly deserving. I guess we'll be seeing them soon in the finals in KL. Now don't go anywhere because coming up next is Bandai. Guys, are we going on a ferry because I don't want to get seasick. Hi guys, we are back and you are still watching RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. And yes, we are in Pulau Pinang. Penang, the Pearl of the Orient, a fascinating fusion of the East and West, a melting pot of culture and heritage that embraces modernity while retaining its traditions and old world charm. Reflected in its harmonious multiracial populace, and well-preserved heritage buildings which has led to Georgetown being accorded a listing recently as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Long regarded as a food capital of Malaysia, Penang incises its visitors with its beautiful coasts and scrumptious cuisines. Nasi Kanda, Pasambo and Penang Cha Kway Tiao. Oh, so yummy. You know, I'm getting so hungry already. But before we all go food hunting, let's check out what our friends are up to right now over at the First Avenue Mall, Penang. Come, follow me. Kids from all over Penang will be battling it out against each other in two categories. The F123 for lower secondary and F4, F5 category for the upper secondary. How are you guys feeling right now, Ivan? We are feeling very sleepy because yesterday I cannot sleep a lot. So hopefully later I will have my energy to win this competition. How do you guys prepare yourself for this competition today? I try to do more exercises so that I'll be more familiar with the questions during this competition. What about you? I read more magazines and go surf the web so that I can get more knowledge. How are you feeling right now? Feeling kind of nervous. Uh, not, we're not sure what we're expecting from this competition. We're going to try our best to win. You guys sound like first timers in the competition. Is that, yes. is that why you guys, you are so nervous? Yeah, I'm very nervous because the senior approaches us oh. and we take the initiative to join this Well, all the best for you and I can't wait to see how you guys are going to go against all the other schools later. Okay, all the best. Mr. White and Mrs. Black are one by one squares on a chessboard. A combination of two Mr. White and Mrs. Black arranged alternatively form a two by two square. How many total possible one by one and two by two squares are there on a chessboard. And the answer we want here 113. 113. Seven teams getting that one right. Which of the following best describes the legend of the three wise monkeys Mizaru, Kikazaru, and Iva Zaru? And the final answer we want, it's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. 35 of you getting it right. In her early 40s, Mrs. Sukanti began to have difficulty reading and hence required reading glasses. What is she suffering from? <coughs> the answer we want is C, Presbyopia. 15 of you getting it correct. Alison's suspected vinegar is acidic. She saw the following items in the refrigerator. Tomatoes, red cabbage, brinjols and curry leaves. Which item will help resolve Alison's suspicion? And the answer. We're looking for red cabbage juice. 18 of you getting it correct. Let's have a look at the top 10 list of teams in both categories that made it to the next round. Congratulations, guys! Show us what you've got, Penang. Go, go, go! 
for the F123 category. The teams are to construct two water-based attractions for a water theme park. One attraction should be a structure that allows water to fill up a large container that gradually tilts over and eventually overturns to cause a big splash for thrill seekers below. They will have to come up with a second water-based attraction creatively. That sounds like a lot of fun. The judges will evaluate and points will be given. Then they will proceed to the oral presentation. As you can see here in this slide, there are eight legs. This provides a very good stability for this slide and it prevents it from toppling over. Both sides have equal numbers of legs supporting it. So it will also prevent it from just falling to one side. For the F4, F5 category, the teams will have to construct a bridge connecting two land masses that can be drawn up to allow ships to pass through and let down again for cars to cross over. That's tricky. Let's see how they score. The science concept behind this project is the pulley system. The pulley system is a type of simple machine. A simple machine only requires a single application of force to work. The simple machine does not decrease the magnitude of force needed, but it does decrease the direction of the force so the, the work can be done easier. Which organ is meant by the term pulmonary? Team C, what's lung. your answer? The lung. Loud and clear, please. The lung. We have two points for Team C, congratulations. Correct the following statement. A platypus is a mammal that gives birth to one pup at any one time. Team E, first to buzz. The rest of you can still discuss and rather still can buzz in. A platypus lays eggs. Platypus lays eggs. Correct answer, Team E. Yeah? So Pilok Rehabilitation Center is a renowned worldwide wildlife sanctuary. What animal is this center renowned for? Team E. Orangutan. Orangutan. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Orangutan is the correct answer. Batman, who is 35 years old, was 28 when Robin was born. How old will Robin be in 15 years' time? Team E, your answer. 22. We have a correct answer. Team E there. Third place, RHB the Star, Mighty Minds, National Challenge, Penang. SMK Book It Jumble Team 2 Right, let me make it clear now Two teams left We are going to announce a champion now RHB The Star Mighty Munch National Challenge Penang Champion is SMK Penang Free Ladies and gentlemen, second place, SMK Prampuan St. George. Third place, going to SMJK Chunghua Confusion. We are now going to name the champions. Some of them are praying already. RHB The Star, Mighty Minds National Challenge. Penang, champion going to SMJK Chungling Team 1. Give them a round of applause. They were junior champions last year, I believe, two years in a row. And now, finally, they graduated to upper secondary and champions again. And we never forget the school of ladies, very elegant ladies. In the second place, SMK Prampuan St. George, Team 2. The boys from Chungling High School are the champion! Yeah. <laughs> Was it hard for you? Any part of the competition that made you feel like, oh my god, this is so hard? I don't like the buzzer part because it was quite challenging and we needed to compete against other teams to press the button, but for the other parts, it was quite okay. What was your presentation like? I think we did better than the previous years because we have um, experience from the previous years. So we know what to do, we know what to say, 
and yeah, we did it good. For the other students out there who wants to join this competition, what is your advice for them? Always stick as a team and respect what your teammates have to say. Congratulations! Yeah! Now that's the spirit, okay. What was the hardest part of the competition? The hands-on challenge. Why? Why was it hard? Uh, we had to combine science and math principles together with also uh, we had to mix, mix stuff. It was sort of spontaneous. What did you make? We had to make a water team park. Okay, what about um, today's questions? Was it um, mostly general knowledge or math? Yeah, it was mostly general knowledge. Mostly. Where can you get general knowledge? You have to constantly read the papers, the newspapers, and you have to do your own research on the internet. You told me earlier that your weakest part was oral presentation, right? Yeah. How are you going to improve in that area for yourself? For me, I will improve by doing more presentation in school. Yeah. Uh, participate maybe in the debates club. Good. Every small step will make you better. That's all for now. Thank you so much, champions. Kudos to Pulau Pinang's mightiest minds. We'll see you guys in the finals real soon. All right, guys. That's it for this episode of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. But don't forget to catch the next episode as we continue our search for the mightiest minds of Malaysia. I'm Halimadu and I'll see you guys real soon. It's time for me to makan. This program was brought to you by RHB and the Star.